Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Jo 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. So I talked more about uh, patching and patching process and how it works and you know uh, how you we can uh, you know uh, set up our patching environment and what are the prerequisite checks we need to do and then how to download the latest patch. I, I talked more about patching and exata patching and PSU patching, CPU patching, one-off patching and bundle patching and then patching procedure, how to apply patch in GI home and how to apply patch in DB homes and uh, how you can apply in rolling fashion and how you can apply in non-rolling fashion and how you can apply online mode and you know uh, hot patch everything i explained in last last my couple of sessions but uh, as i told uh, oracle will uh, announce the patch uh, on every quarterly basis so recently oracle has announced uh, uh, you know october 2020 uh, patch set so we will technically go ahead uh, go inside this october 2020 patch and we'll discuss uh, everything uh, what are the prerequisites post post requisites and how we can apply and everything we'll see it technically so before i get started with the uh, today's this analysis if you are new to my channel always go back to youtube search for malik jyotri for then please do subscribe if you like my videos please share like and comment and if you missed out my previous videos you can always refer it in my youtube channel malik jyotri for uh, let's get started with the today's session uh, critical patch update cpu program t20 uh, patch set so uh, as i said like you know if you want to search for a uh, patch you have to search critical patch update cpu program october 2020 jan 2021 april 2021 and july 2021 again october 2021 right so these are the four cycles jan april july and october were actually released so right now uh, they released october 2020 so as you can see here uh, just search for critical patch update cpu october 2020 so you will get all these patch uh, cycles so you can go with the latest one that is a uh, critical patch set update program october 2020 patch availability document pad right so if you open it so i already opened here if you can see critical patch update program october 2020 patch availability document right so then uh, it, it, it has a lot of information you just go through it but what what i am doing how you can analyze uh, because this is not only for your rack environment or grid environment or uh, non rack environment or your uh, database or uh, or your ebs or you know or your wls or web logic so this pad means uh, you know patch availability document for uh, october 2020 it includes for everything your database your oem your uh, web logic and all the components I this document includes everything but you have to choose which one you are referring so my intention is to go for database wise so you can see right all these patches they released for this uh, October 2020 right? these many list of patches so they released for you can see they released for EM enterprise manager OAM and OJVM database and 19c 18c 20c and GI DB and OJVM and Microsoft uh, Windows bundle patch and Exata bundle patch quarterly full stack download this document contains everything but our intention is to look for database section so I will just drop down i'll go to the section 3.14.3 oracle database 18 and if you go up 3.4.2 oracle database 19 basically you can go with this 3.1.4 oracle database so this is the one you need to look into that right so where it contains for your database 19c and you can go down it contains for database 18c and if you further go down it contains for you know database 12.2 12.1 1104 everything so i'll just quickly go with the 19c analysis you have to go with this uh, 3.1.4.2 oracle database 19c and if you come down it has a oracle database server if you can see combo ojvm patch update this is the ojvm patch update and database release update it includes database patch db patch and the ojvm patch and if you go down database homes database oracle database server home database patch release update this is the database patch and if you go further in the same section gi release update gi release update 19.90.0.2010.20 they release on 20th and october 2020 this is a gi patch and this is a database patch if you are having only standalone database just download this particular patch and apply it on your 
uh, Oracle Home. And if you are using a rack setup with a GI and, GI and Oracle database, you can go with this one. This is GI and this is database. If you can see the patch number is 31771877. Here 31750118. So, but ideally, if you try to open this patch or this patch, both will go to the same patch. So, I will try to open this particular patch first. You can see it is opening here. You can see, right? So, you can see this search patch 31771877, but the displayed patch is 108. What is that 108? Ending with 108, it's a GI patch. So, if you download this GI patch, this is actually your GI patch that gi patch internally includes your database patch right this is open now here you can see 31750118 this is a patch and this is actually uh, the the gi patch you can see size is 2.7 gb that is for linux if i open this particular patch if i open this particular patch so this is a readme 108 that is your GI. They will call it as a GI release update. But inside that you will see your database patch. So if you go further, you go to this entire readme file. And I am interested in this table content 1.2 patch number getting installed as part of the bundle patch. So this is your bundle patch. This is your GI patch 108. That 108 patch contains how many patch sub patches? 1, 2, 3, four so if you download that single patch it has inside four sub patches and if you closely look into this this particular patch ending with 966 that is only and gridom you have to apply only and gridom if you check this particular patch ending with 437 that is only and gridom and if you check this particular patch 784 it is ocw patch and this is both for dbom and gridom and you can see that what is that patch talks about this particular patch as i said 966 it's a tomcat release and if you see this particular patch 437 that is acfs release so this tomcat and acfs are applicable only for your grid home and if you see this particular patch 784 this is ocw patch ocw patch both for grid and dbom and if you see this particular 8 ending with 877 that is a database release update this is actually your database patch right so this patch only db home for non rack if you are using a standalone database it is applied only on your db home and this is a single patch is enough for standalone database these other three you can ignore it and if you are using a rack so this particular patch should be applied on your both grid home and db home if you can see both db home and grid home for rack environment right by the by this time you know if you are having a standalone database you you will be be clear that you can apply only this patch and ignore these three and if you are having a rack setup and you can see this is for this is for both db home and gi home and this also for both db home and gi home and this is for gi home and this is for gi home ideally if you talk about the rack for the gi home you have to apply all these four and for the db home you have to apply only these two this is for rack and in case of non rack for the standalone only this single patch you can apply on db home and grid home doesn't matter there because grid home will not come into picture in the standalone database right so this is how you need to analyze your patching and the readme document and again this if you go through this readme document patch information and patch installation deinstallation and noun issue references so it, it will be having everything and uh, you know i hope this is clear for the uh, the patching how what are the sub patches how it works and what all patches you need to apply right and then i'll quickly go inside patch installation and deinstallation so in the patch installation i will uh, in, i'm interested in only uh, uh, three things one is o patch as i already as i always sell, i always inform you guys try to use the latest version latest o patch whatever the latest o patch you try to install it on your gi home and db home before you proceed with the patching that's the first thing and the second thing is you have to make sure that o patch ls inventory is you know working fine you make sure that your current oracle home and grid home has a proper ls inventory setup and if you are not able to get your lh ls o patch ls patches or ls inventory details if you are corrupted with your inventory or patches first you have to fix it before you proceed with the patch apply and the third thing is you can download it and place properly and give the proper permission and do your conflict checks and the system space check as i already explained conflict 
uh, you know check against all your uh, you know database patches see as you can see here uh, you know you can uh, you can do with the directly to the directory this is your patch ending with 108 and if you do directly with the patch dir and it will do the conflict for all the sub patches or else you can uh, pass with the patch there and you can pass all the sub patches so you can do the conflict check for your gi home and for the database home you no need to do it for all these four you need to do it only two patches as i said like these are the four patches and you have to do the conflict check for all these four in case of gi home and in case of database home you have to do it only for these two patches ending with 77 and 84 if you if I if I can show you ending with 77 seven and 84 these are the two they are doing it for Oracle home and these are the four they are doing it for all for all uh, four uh, sub patches for your GI home and the system space check is uh, instead of this config check and you can just use this keyword check system space right you can use this this uh, phase here and you can do the same system space check for all these four patches for GI home and for these two patches for uh, you know DB home so once your config check and system space check are passed you can either go with the opatch auto or you can manually apply right I already covered that manually apply how it works you need to uh, you know uh, use opatch and n apply and you need to uh, pass your Oracle home and you need to pass your uh, patch uh, directory Okay, so if you are clear with this, uh, uh, you know, uh, the patch config check and the system space check and I'll quickly go into this 1.2.2 .2 section, the, the conflict resolution and you can use this opatch auto apply and you can give this the patch location in case of GI home you have to uh, run it for all the uh, you know this entire uh, GI home, uh, the GI patch 108 and with the hyphen analyze. So, that is for your apply and for the rollback also you can give that same particular the patch directory and if analyze if you pass this keyword this is this is very very important if you do this analyze it will do the conflict check and one of conflict check against your entire Oracle home as well as your uh, DB homes uh, the wo patch auto is a very very uh, you know it has a very brilliant tool because uh, it will do conflict analysis check for your GI home as well as it will do conflict analysis check for your uh, DB home you no need to do separately if you see here uh, in the above manual method you, you used to do it for GI home separately and you used to do it for DB home separately and also system space check you have to do you used to do it for DB home and you know you to do it for uh, uh, GI home and DB home and whereas if you use this opatch auto and apply and then the, that entire patch location and then pass the keyword iPhone analyze uh, your opatch auto will do automatically for your both GI home and DB home so this is one of the brilliant uh, tool I can say opatch auto try to use opatch auto for uh, you know your patching exercise and uh, uh, you know to apply the patch you can see same thing go patch auto apply and your uh, patch location and you just give the patch and you know no need to give this analyze if you give this analyze it's kind of a dry run and if you don't give that analyze it is kind of uh, you know uh, you know it will uh, directly apply on your uh, both the GI home and the DB home and if you don't want to apply on the uh, DB homes you just need to patch o patch auto and the patch location and hyphen OH you need to give that a GI home and if you want to patch only Oracle home you can see opatch auto apply in the patch location iPhone OH and you have to give that the Oracle home 1 Oracle home 2 Oracle home 3 whatever the Oracle home you need to pass it and similarly for the roll it back same concept you can use it and the, the patch installation is same as I say like uh, the same method whatever we did here see uh, they are using opatch auto apply and the patch location it will apply it for uh, Oracle rack where the GI home and Oracle database home are not saved in HFS file system. HFS file system is not configured. And the second case is Oracle rack where GI home is not saved and database home is saved in HFS is used. So there are many options, but uh, you know you can go ahead with whatever the scenario best shoots. But uh, ideally you try to go with this particular option if you are using OPH. Uh, okay, where is that? Uh, okay, this this particular option is is very very uh, best suits for uh, for any of us. You can see here, uh, see uh, opatch auto apply and the patch location. If you give it, it will patch both your DB home and GI home. 
so if you want to patch only gi home or patch auto apply and the patch location and your iphone oracle oracle home that is your gi home if you do it it will do it for gi home if you do this command it will do it for your uh, db home so these are the two very very uh, useful uh, you can use uh, these two method for your patching exercise right so and rest other things are like roll it back and how it works and what are the post installation steps so you know uh, once uh, uh, you apply the uh, uh, no PSU patch on your Oracle home and the next step is you need to run the uh, data patch that is connect to database and start your database or if you already started no need to do it and go back to your Oracle home O patch and run this data patch hyphen workbox right so you know that is this is for your standalone db and for multi-tenant or pdb you can see alter pluggable database all open for uh, you know you, you no need to do this startup because your database is already started because once you stop your own oracle home and patch uh, o patch and patch your uh, uh, ps1 oracle home and start your oracle home your db will be automatically comes online in case of rack or in case of uh, standalone you need to start it and once your db are all started you need to make sure that alter pluggable database all open your all pdb should be open before running your data patch and go to your data patch uh, go to Oracle Home O patch and run the data patch hyphen workbox. And then once that is done, uh, you know, you can uh, verify your login to database and verify your util RP connect and, you know, uh, uh, and then uh, is there any invalid objects or uh, and what are the patch uh, uh, applied successfully or not. You can do it using this DBA registry SQL patch. If you query this particular uh, view, it will give you whether it is apply or uh, success you know all the dates everything you'll get the information so once that is done you will be done uh, with your uh, patching oracle home and then the post intra steps so that's it for the uh, today session it has more it has more information if you go to this readme you will understand so uh, that's it about uh, for the oracle uh, critical patch update for october thank you guys